Hi everyone. Hey, and thank you for being here. Um, I wanted to share with you, I found these three cute little sketches in one of my journals and I do have them on my Etsy shop. I am offering them there for purchase, uh, a three bonus pack, but I wanted to use one of them in my project for this month for anything but a card. I'm on the design team there, so I thought I would incorporate one of my pretty lovelies into my project. So that's what I did, and the theme is New Beginnings. So I made a nice little cute little artist girl. She's getting ready for a whole new year on her creative journey, and she's going to have so much fun, and she's happy, and all the colors that she's using are bright and, and very, very inspiring. So let's hope she has a great year because I'm planning on having a great year too. A great inspirational creative year on my journey for 2015. And I started this actually, the pages that I had started for this project came out too dark and I really wasn't enthused with them. So I had turned the pages, a couple of pages, and I found these pretty colors. And it only had like you know, the two colors on them, yellow, I think, and the orangey pink, and some pink it did. It had some Dilutions inks on there. This is my Dilutions journal, too. So I thought, well, I'll just add to those because I like those colors better. So I hope you enjoy, and let's get going. I'll see you inside. Okay, I printed her out on, let's see, cardstock. Okay. And I printed her just out the way it, I didn't resize her or anything. So she's pretty big. And uh, the way the, you know, whatever it came up on the printer. So let's see. I'm going to, I, wanna, I think I want to use some watercolor on her. So I'm going to put some white gesso down over her. But I don't want to go over like... And I can get, um, you can always get clear gesso. And this way it doesn't go over. It's a little bit more coarse. Um, they may have one. Mine is a little bit more coarse, so. But they may have one that's not. So I, I like the white, uh, the clear gesso because it doesn't, it just gives you some tooth to your paper and, you know, some texture, but it doesn't really go over anything. But I'm going to go over this very lightly because I don't want to mess up my features. I like them, so I'm going to keep them. So just very lightly going over this. I'm going to make sure I keep that all visible. So let's just take this, we're going to take and we're going to use stencil and I'm going to stencil what I stencil here, I'm going to stencil here. So this way the two pages have continuity. This is kind of a really nice pinky ready I don't know I almost like this so it's not going to show up that much on this one but that's okay little there and a little here
And we're going to let this dry, and then we'll start. We'll start adding another stencil. And this color is. Let's see what this color is. This is my studio acrylic paints. This is. Oh, this is the gypsy pink. I like that color. Yeah. So we'll just let that dry, and then we'll come back, and I'm going to do another stencil and use a. I think I'm going to use a. a, a completely different color now. We'll get into completely different colors and then we'll make this into uh, not one page but we'll make sure that it, it looks like it belongs together. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's add another color here. Of course, it doesn't matter what kind of stencil. You're just adding interest, depth, continuity, because you want the, both pages to kind of blend together, even though their colors, main colors on them right now, are different. But this will bring them together. And this one is Seaside, my studio. Just very inexpensive craft paint. <clears throat> it's just not, it's coming out very smeared. Pick it up more gently. Still a little smeared, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. There you go, just kind of adding that color to both pages again, like I did with the other one. Okay, so we'll let this dry and we'll dry with the heat gun and then we'll come back and put another color on here. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of kind of a lime green here through here. Just a little bit. Really bright color. That looks really pretty. I like that. And I think I'm going to put some under there. Let's see. I like that, how it pops in there. Okay. 
a little bit here. Go. I kind of got smushed, but that's okay. That's okay. I really just want to have the color and the pops all over. That's good. I think, I think. So it looks pretty. I'm happy with that. I'm, like, I'm going to dry this, my heat gun. Okay, let's start on the face. I'm trying to think, what do I want to do? Um, you know, I think, well, I think first of all, oh, I'm going to add um, something here to her head. And I probably, now that I'm looking at this, should have brought her down a little bit when I printed her out. But I didn't, so I'm going to, I can either add it in now when I'm doing it or I can add it in later but I think I'm just going to sketch it so I can see how it would look and I'm having coffee and my wonderful my daughter I showed this on um, Facebook this gorgeous cup she got me from Starbucks because she works at Starbucks she's a barista there and she got me this gorgeous cup for a Christmas present and I love it I love it I love it it is my favorite so I am going to actually <laughs> look for my pencil and then I will look it right back okay I'm thinking like maybe I want to add you know maybe I'm gonna have like a bun there and some hair coming down here So let's see, like that, and then maybe like that, and then like that, and like that, and like that. Like that. I don't know if that looks like a bun. It actually looks more like a hat. So, well, you can see I changed the bun around and made it look more like it was sitting on top of her head instead of the other thing looked like a hat. So, um, it's still kind of funky, but I like it. So now I'm just adding in the shiva sticks. I'm using the um, the blending stick. I usually put that down first and then I'm going to lay some white down and then put all the colors in there. Um, so, you know, whatever you have, uh, these are the ones that I have. I mean, you can use acrylic for this, but uh, sometimes I like to play around with my oils and uh, I haven't used these in a while. So I thought, well, let's have some fun with them. But don't forget to use the blending stick with these. These are quite different than tube oil paints. So they're a stick and it they don't move around as much. But once you put that little bit of the blending stick on it, it does move it around and and they're fun and they work really nice. So use whatever colors. I think I have golds and um, I don't even really have a skin tone skin tone. I have uh, burnt sienna, white. I use um, yellow ochre and um, I can't think of the other one. It was some golden uh, color, but you know, 
and a brown. So those are pretty good. And then I have the uh, the rose color for the cheeks and the lips. And um, they're pretty expensive, but I bought them so long ago, I don't even remember, to tell you the truth, how much they were. And I do the same thing for the hair. I use them on the hair also. And um, yeah, just mess around with your colors if you have them. If you don't, use whatever you have. But it's lots of fun.
now I'm adding more color to the lips and then I'll start adding some brown and black to the eyes around the eyelids and the eyebrows and then smearing a little bit because I want it to be um, just shadowy not not very I don't want it to stand out too much her eyebrows and not want to darken it too much so I just want to and then around the eyes same thing and then I'll go in with a paper towel and smear it And you can see I do in a little artist kind of smock on her. Even though this is a mess over here, it doesn't matter because I'm going to go over it anyway. So I am going to cut her out. And um, figure out how I want to do this. I always wind up cutting out things, don't I? Now I may use material. I'm just, this is really going to be her I'm just using it as a guide. So I know that's where I want her arm to be. Same thing. The rest of it, I just kind of using it for a guide. be careful because the oil paint is not dry yet. Drew a little palette. So I'm going to put paint and stuff on. I'm going to cut it out. But I'm going to put white. I drew it and then gessoed it. So now I'm just going to paint it white. So I can mix my colors and make a real, you know, my paint palette is quite a mess. So I don't think I'm going to make this too neat. Because I think 
you know, it looks great when it's all pretty and just has little dabs of paint. Maybe the first time you ever use it. And then it gets nice and used and has all that character to it. And I love it. Even an easel. I have an easel that I don't have a big easel. I really want one, a wood easel. But I, I was thinking I probably would want something that has been used so I could get the feel of the maybe of the other artists that used it maybe they've passed away and you know and it was theirs and they created all their dreams and everything and came out while they were using it you know I thought so I'm going to try and find a used one I have a tabletop but I'm going to try and find a used stand one and I think that I would really like it better. Being an artist, I think having another artist, maybe the vibes from them would be really cool. So I'm just going to add the colors, some of the, you know, kind of mix up the colors that are already on the background and uh, just kind of make it messy. dry it a little bit. I'm just taking some yellow and putting it on this page. She's going to pretty much kind of cover most of this, but just thought I'd add a little yellow on this page. dabs of it here and there. She's going to be, let's see, yeah. So it's going to be nice to have a little bit of yellow here. So I want these pages to be together, but you know, of course, different, but yet that you know that it's one whole piece. Okay. I'm going to do a little spraying too. I think I'll spray some more ink on here because, you know, I, originally there was some ink on here. Okay. So there's my little palette. I'm going to let that dry and then cut it out. And then we'll let this dry and then I think we'll spray some inks and stuff on here to kind of get it all to kind of blend together. So let's do that next. I'm just spraying some, um, let's see, Dilutions. What is this one? Hmm, let's see. Come on, tell me. Pure Sunshine. It's right in the front. I haven't used them in a while, so forgive me. I can't, can't remember where they put the words on everything. 
Okay, so let's just let that dry. Okay, what I did was I traced over her and then I traced it onto some pretty paper and just used my copy paper, my graphite transfer, whatever this is, and just did it over and then just cut it out and had it for her. So see that messy mess doesn't matter because it's going to have paper over it, pretty paper, and then I'll, you know, paint the paper and I'll put the collar in and all that back in. So once I glue her down, and I'm going to let her dry, and then I will glue her down because I don't want to mess up her face, and, and the oil paint takes, it won't dry until tomorrow, so it'll take about 24 hours for that to really dry without smearing it. So we'll do that tomorrow. Be back then. Thank you. What I decided to do, I think, is I'm going to add white instead of, you know, the usual black stamps. Let's see how this is very, very faint. But it's there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's there. Very, very faint. And I'm using the dragonfly. Oops, a little crooked. You can see it there, how pretty it looks in the white. And get it to show up on the pink here. Very light. I really like it. But you can barely see it. And then it kind of soaks in because you know what I think it is? The um, Anywhere there is the dilution zinc it's just disappearing into the ink. See, this is the paint here. So I did spray with some ink there, but I sprayed more on this side, so it's just disappearing, and that is what's happening. So that is not going to work on the dilutions. Probably would have to put 
dip it into paint and then it would be like just too icky. So yeah, it shows up very faintly. That's really the only spot where you can see it. It's a good idea, but it's just not going to work with the, the dilutions. It's just soaking it up. Yep. Oh well. Okay, I have her <coughs> glue down and I have this down. So I'm just going to kind of touch her up a little bit, go over this, and then put the words in here. And then we'll be done. Now I'm just adding some acrylic craft paint. Um, I think it was French vanilla. It's kind of a creamy color. I wanted it to look like, you know, like an old-fashioned kind of smock. I don't know. And then add some pops of uh, uh, pink. I did a really kind of really pinky pinky on the collar and uh, and then I ran some pink through it to give it some pizzazz so I think it came out kind of cute so I like it got the words down and now I'm just add some more cool stuff to her like some maybe some pretty stuff on her collar and um, I think something in her hair and then I'm going to take out my little liquid curls and see Maybe I want to make a little. Let's see. No, it's a bit too dark. That's too blue. That goes with some of it. I think I'm going to and all of these get clogged so easily you have to get a um, I'll be right back I'm gonna get a, a little pin hey hi I just want to say thank you I figured I'd pop in I'm sitting here editing 
So I thought I'd just say hello and thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you're thinking, how you like that sketch, you know, and if you're thinking about purchasing one, just go on, head on over to my Etsy shop and let's have some fun together. Let's have a blast, 2015, yay. Let's create, create and have fun. No stress, just fun. Okay, thank you, bye.